Hi everyone, Madonna and Joy. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. So what we're going to do today is something that's a little bit stressful. Joy's being diagnosed with breast cancer one and a half weeks ago, 10 days ago. So at the moment, we're in a place where uh, treatment hasn't started yet. Today, we're really probably going to deal with the stress of the trauma of being told, the shock, the fear, everyone giving good intended advice, left, right and centre. So being feeling like you're being pulled from 27 directions, you know, that sort of thing. So let's just get in there and start trying to balance the body out. So there's, uh, it's a trip, it's a triple negative breast cancer and it's just under two centimeters in diameter. So around that sort of size. But not in that tip. In this little guy. Okay, so let's check your adrenals. Hold up for me. Oh. Okay. And hold. And on top of that, it was diagnosed just before her uh, 75th birthday. That's mm. so. Mm -hmm. And hold. Well, there's survival, deep survival, and hidden deep survival. That your shoulders out. I know saying? my shoulders hold. out. That's got my side to it. And hold. And hold. Arm straight. Arm straight. And hold. <coughs> I'll just pop that in there as part of the circuit, that little shoulder that's a bit sore. But yeah, so there's survival, deep survival and hidden deep survival. So the unconscious brain has gone, holy moly, life is crap. Let's calm it down. So when survival kicks in, it means the brain assumes long-term stress. Okay, so the anterior cingulate gyrus this is that little part of the brain that wants you to be perfect in all social situations and it picks on yourself when you're not. Hold out for me. So having to give a party a week after a diagnosis like that. It's all a bit weird. Mm. Yeah, your brain's in escape mode wanting to run away. Escape submission freeze. Actually, I might throw the immune system in at this point as well. Because we want the immune system up and running. Hold. Hold. Actually, she's on all sorts of good supplements. So let's just ask, minus all your supplements minus all your medication. And hold. Yeah, okay. Hold. 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 Okay. So without any of the supplements, none of the major immune pathways are working properly, so the inflammation would be quite high. So I know the stress has been really huge for the last 10 days. Uh, I really think it probably started about the first, when, or whatever. Oh, when, uh, when the diagnosis started. Oh, well, that's when they did the biopsy, but it was probably even oh, before that when they recalled me. Yeah. <coughs> I haven't had a recall before. Mm, yeah, good point. And when was the first mammogram? Did you have two mammograms or one? 24th of October, if that was a Thursday. Okay. And they recalled me about the Monday or Tuesday afterwards and said come in Friday yeah. to have re-examined yeah. and, and they said it could have been something simple and I thought well it might be but for some unknown reason I've never had a recall before and with everyone in the family having breast cancer yeah. always been crooked and then after they did it it activated your spidey senses they, mm -hmm. then, they then did that nasty, horrid, hurtful biopsy. Yeah. And I was on my own, and by the time I got to Tambourine Mountain, I just stopped at Kate French's house and did the thing that was best for cancer. Of course, we shared a box of Maltesers. <laughs> 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 
if any day is worthy of a box of Maltesers, that's the day to jolly well do it. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, so, so the immune system's in. Now I'm going to specifically ask your immune system in relation to cancer and cancer cells. And hold. 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 Ah, there's an energy mismatch to cancer cells, which means your body isn't recognising them fully at the moment. Now, cancer cells are sneaky. So, so they would be horseshit or something. <laughs> well, they pretend, well, cancer cells release HCG. HCG is the pregnancy hormone. So what that means is that the body thinks it's pregnant, so therefore it doesn't kill the cancer cells because it thinks it's a, you know... I have a baby at 75. <laughs> that, that would be impressive. If I had sex, it would be incredibly impressive. <laughs> I don't know, think my body would be very happy about it. Having a baby at your age? Not a lot of fun, you reckon? Okay, so in relation to cancer cells? By the same token, I've got a lot of reflux, I had that when I was pregnant as well. <laughs> and hold, okay. So now let's specifically ask in relation to breast cancer tissue. And hold, yeah. So we'll just get closer and closer. And hold. 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 Uh, what way do you want me to? No, no, you're doing it perfectly. It's just not working because there's no energy there within the immune system. I can feel you trying. There's just stress in there. You know we're doing the breast biopsy. One of the nurses did that stuff you're doing on my forehead or something. Yeah. That was supposed to, she, I'm sure she didn't call it disrupt or maybe distract authority. Yeah. But it was something on you. Yeah, there's a technique called tapping and there's a lot of facial points. It was mostly on my forehead. Yep. <clears throat> the girl that did it, of course, was called Donna. <laughs> when I was at the dentist recently, there was... Uh, because they knew how anxious I was. Even the dentist was sort of like, you know, doing little tappy things on my forehead and saying, you're safe, you know, and just kept throwing in these positive little affirmations, which was sort of sweet. You know, given he's a 65 year old dentist. I must you know. have done what read on a class. Mm. Okay, in relation to any old breast cancer tissue, breast cancer cells. Hold. 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 Any and all imbalances with the hormone HCG and recognition of cancer cells. And hold. Now I'm just going to, so I know it was triple negative, but I'm going to ask more about xenoestrogens, which are estrogen mimicking things in our body. So things like plastics and uh, makeups and creams and shampoo, ah, energy mismatch, because they block the receptors on the cell membranes. You mean so. plastic? These are all the plastic bags I've eaten when I was swimming in the sea. Unfortunately, we're eating plastic every single day. In fish. 
No, everywhere. So uh, water has plastic in it, salt has plastic in it, like it's in the ocean. So anything that's grown in the ocean has plastic in it. Plastic is everywhere, unfortunately. Every time you open a tin of anything, it's like the tins that we buy food out of, you know, they're lined with plastic. When we eat frozen veggies, they're in plastic bags. Often even, I once got home from the supermarket and I bought some organic something, just say organic zucchini or something, but it was on a polystyrene tray and it was wrapped in Glad Wrap. And I got home and I thought, right, so I spent six bucks on organic zucchini and it's on polystyrene wrapped in Glad Wrap. So I thought, I'm not doing that again. That's silly. Yeah, so xenoestrogens, unfortunately, we're breathing them in every day. It's, they're just in our environment. So in relation to xenoestrogens. And hold. 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 And with the immune system because stress is so huge. I know it's separate from the uh, survival pattern, but I'm just going to ask in relation to stress and stress hormones. And hold. Yeah. Hold. 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 Yeah. So stress and stress hormones are messing with your immune system, which once again is why we need things like, you know, whatever. Carmex, Resilien, Adapt N, Stress N, Relax N. We'll make sure there's something there for stress so that any time you're feeling stressed, you can take something to calm the nervous system down. Stress and stress hormones. And hold. 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 Oh, beautiful. Okay. Um, so that's probably enough data into the immune system. So now let's go back to the survival pattern. Okay. What's that for? Well, the survival pattern's because of the news. It's because of you know okay, the stress. What did you rub my, my oh, head? well, that's about sensory nervous system. Oh. So with the um, periventricular survival system, there's several finger modes that link in with visual stress, taste stress, hearing stress, um, but then that is sensory stress. So did I pass? Oh, well, I just stack it in. Just part of the equation. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the reticular activating system... Would be turning your tap on. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so it's pretty, yeah, right. It's messed with your serotonin in the last few weeks. Serotonin is your feel good hormone. Ah. Yeah, and it's making your nervous system vigilant. So you're hyper vigilant and it's harder to relax and be happy. You can do it, it's just harder. I noticed that it was very much harder to. Get the happy vibes. Yeah. Okay, nothing else is showing up in the PVSS. It might be jammed, it might be hiding, but let's go see what we need to do as a correction. Okay, yes, I have a solution show up at this is clear, which is tuning forks. Tuning fork combination, okay. Right lung, lungs about grief, guilt, regret. And liver's about anger, okay. So, so, my liver angry. so the grief, guilt, regret is feeding anger at the moment. So, 
Yes, you poor little liver's struggling. Uh, lungs. So lung liver. Where you feel everything you do is hampered. Okay, so the flower essence is called Queen of the Night. And Queen of the Night is about um, being a victim of the frailty of life, which I've never felt like you felt, but it's probably hit you in the last few weeks. Mm, yes, I'm pulled from that out, and then every time I got onto my feet again, they threw marbles on the floor. Yes, that sort of thing. Transcend, dissolve, we need to do both. Do we need to do the lung meridian, the liver meridian? Okay, both. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my being a victim of the frailty of life into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively experience the blissful power of deep seeing, understanding, feeling and sensuality. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively transcend my victim of being a my being a victim of the frailty of life into all encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively experience the blissful power of deep seeing, understanding, feeling and sensuality. Let's see if that's cleared the survival stuff or whether it was just hiding underneath that emotional gear. And hold. 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 Now let's go into the conscious brain, which is all about problem solving, so that as you get given choices, you make your own decisions in the moment rather than based on fear. What's up? What's hurting? My right leg, probably from the knee down. Okay. Oh, do you need to do that under your knees? I don't know. Oh, possibly. Okay. I don't think it's a cramp, but it's all those muscles mm, down yeah. there. Now a lot of muscles from here to here are about adrenaline. So it's sort of like the flexahalicus longus on the bottom of the foot. It's the soleus and gastrocnemius at the back of the legs. They're both relating to the adrenal glands. Perineus at the sides about fear, fear and anxiety. Hmm. Okay. So let 
let's have a look at your conscious brain, asking the body to access problem solving mechanisms and clear thinking. Okay. Okay, so no surprise, there's something about the trust, trust and trust issues. And hold out. Oh, I hate surprises so much. Yeah. I've always hated surprises. I mean, sometimes you get nice ones, but by and large, God help us. Don't get nice surprises. Well, okay. as surprises go, this one sucked. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. And hold, hold, no, not that, good. Oh, okay. So if it shows up, because um, that would actually lock, which means that part of the brain was more than 50% functional, you know, but it still had some wanting to run away stuck in there in relation to not trusting things. But if oxygen shows up, there are parts of the brain that just need more oxygen. Do I need more oxygen? Everyone needs more oxygen. Oh. Uh, cancer grows in an environment that doesn't have enough oxygen, which is why water is so important, going through all the, all the process. Water is H2O, oxygen and hydrogen. So water has oxygen in it, so when you drink lots of water, you increase your oxygen in your body. God, if I didn't drink water, I'd be bloody depleted completely. Yeah. I'd drink a hell of a lot of water and coffee. Yeah. Coffee depletes oxygen from your body. It's got more than that. Mm-hmm. And hold. Okay. That's your problem solving area. A bit skew with wanting to run away at the moment. I'm gonna add oxygen into that circuit. I need to keep your Brain up and running. Okay, so the next one's the fourth hippocampal circuit. So this one's your motivation's gone through the floor. So we need to get your oomph back so that your normal motivation's there so you can enjoy things better and not feel so much like a rag doll. Hold. Some people bite the arse out of the way I'm Ah, that old chestnut. <laughs> linking in with a uh, neurolymphatic point, so the lymph. Not feeling safe and secure. The 
again. Okay. Scale of one to ten, how bad is it? What? The pain. What pain? The pain in there. Something keeps pinching me like there's a prickle in my bra or... Yeah. But it's not... Yeah. The prickle isn't even within the area of the bra. Yeah. Inside. Well, I would have said it was on my skin, but I presume oh. it would be inside. Okay. And it's sort of more of a annoying jab like yep. when those nasty things are well, on the back of your clothes and you have to cut them off? Yep. Um, one of the ways that the zeolite works, it's drawn to the area in the body that is the most toxic first. So... I got a toxic arm, but the zeolite over there. Well, the there. cancer's on that side. Right. So it's going to be going to that area, it's going to be drawn to that area. So when I first... Why well, is that why my deodorant is not working? Oh, maybe. No, but I, I sort of suspect that's more about sympathetic nervous system and mm. stress because your brain just hasn't allowed you to calm down since the diagnosis. It hasn't stopped since, you know, for the last month or three weeks. So because your energy's been going forward, you've been just continuing on with your normal life, yeah, you know, it's um, the nervous system hasn't reset. Um, so the pain the zeolite will help to pull cortisol out of the body. So it can pull stress hormones out. Uh, I mean, I suppose it, like yours, is a non-aluminium deodorant. I would think so. I don't think I'd have anything else in the house. So you make sure they're non-aluminium? Yes, and I've, yeah, had, I've had this one for a while, but okay, I certainly cool, cool. haven't looked at it in the... Yeah, yeah. Because I used the crystal one, which I used up when I was on HTC. Yeah. Then I went back to this one, but I only bought it because it was aluminium free. Yeah. But I can't have another look at it too bad to get some more. No, as long as it's aluminium free, that's the main thing you need. Uh, C C trust AC dispenser, D C B C D power another rest circuit. Uh, when I first started taking zeolite about 15 years ago, and I had like a low-level fibromyalgia, so I woke up in pain every single day, and then occasionally I wouldn't, and I never knew what I'd done the day before to make sure that I hadn't woken up in pain on that particular day. So, uh, but when I started doing zeolite, and I was doing it at the detox dose for a couple of years, and... Uh, like there were a few things, like um, at one stage, because I just had so many mercury amalgams, so for a while there it felt like a jack 